I am Slick Nick, and I get this question every couple of years because every couple of years I go with the buzz cut all over, and the same questions, the same comments resurface each time I do because the viewership on this channel is a snowball. I've got people who've been watching me for years and then others who are new to the scene and they haven't seen the dynamic aspect of me having hair and then not. Uh, so here's yet another example. This is someone leaving a comment today on another comment that was left over two years ago on a video. So just check this out. So I had Zibum Asdu say, quote, hi, is hair loss a negative thing? I'm not bald at all. Not even a little bit, but I love the bald look, so I thought uh, I would buy a good electric head shaver and use it every morning with my shaving routine. Why is being bald so bad? I shave my head completely as a hairstyle because I love it, end quote. Now, I can relate to that comment personally, but then Jay Shaka, 23 minutes ago in real time, responded to that two-year-old comment, and here it was, quote, these are two different things. Guy above can shave his head and it will grow back and thick and full. Whereas balding man, he shaves his head, he has to do it again in another two or three days, or you can see his baldness choose him. Let baldness choose you takes a high level of humility and confidence, end quote. So let's sort that out. I think you can look at that comment in a negative way or in a positive way. And I think it's very telling about the individual. Because as we all know, this channel is red pill. This is working with what you've got. This is not allowing yourself to see yourself as a victim, but instead as someone who finds a way to become victorious no matter what happens, no matter what your DNA says how much hair you have. So I think that's interesting. Letting baldness choose you takes a high level of humility and confidence. So here's what I would say. If you are 20 years old and going bald prematurely, it's going to force you to become confident. It's going to force you to rely on other aspects like being confident, your skill set, how you treat people, which is really the main thing. If you want people to like you, you put more attention on them than yourself. It's going to basically shortcut you into that hard lesson in life that some people take way too long to learn. So you can look at that as a negative thing or you can look at it as a positive thing that if you let balding choose you, which I say let, you don't have a choice, okay? You're born with DNA that determines whether you're gonna be bald by age 35 or not. So I guess we can use the word let as far as the concept of being at peace with that fact and embracing the baldness choosing you. And then from there, either way, even if you don't go bald, you're prepared. So like I was, at age 20, 21, the first time I did this, you know, I had a lower hairline at the time, but I was preparing myself on some level for when that time did come. And here I am at 40 years old and the time still hasn't come. This is all about being red pill. You get to determine that. What you can't determine is what age you will go bald. What you can determine is how you react to that. You can't always uh, choose how you feel, but you can choose how you react. And I think in choosing your reaction, often how you feel about that follows. Your comments belong right here.